Rowan Atkinson, actor of Black Adder and Mr. Bean, has warned friends not to purchase electric cars because he feels a little duped by them. Electric motoring doesn't seem to be quite the environmental panacea it is claimed to be, according to Mr. Atkinson, who purchased his first electric hybrid 18 years ago and his first pure electric car nine years ago. Mr. Atkinson, who holds a degree in electrical and electronic engineering, mentions in an editorial for The Guardian that Avalvo research estimates greenhouse gas emissions are 70% greater in the construction of an electric car compared to fuel vehicles. The car-obsessed actor claims that this is mostly because of lithium-ion batteries, which are used almost exclusively in electric vehicles and are quite hefty. They only last approximately 10 years and need many rare earth metals and huge amounts of energy required to make them. Because of this, even though they have no emissions, electric automobiles are not yet as ecologically friendly as some people may think. The 68-year-old criticizes society's relationship with cars and claims that the auto sector participates in the fast fashion sales culture. According to him, most car owners trade in their vehicle every three years before selling it on, mostly because of the ubiquitous three-year leasing model. In contrast to today, when a 15,000 pounds automobile with some tender care may survive up to 30 years, he recalls that cars back then were a bucket of rust and halfway through the gate of the scrapyard after five years. We're realizing that a wider range of options need to be explored if we're going to properly address the very serious environmental problems that our use of the motor car has created, so Mr. Atkinson concludes. Increasingly, I'm feeling that our honeymoon with electric cars is coming to an end, and that's no bad thing. In order to prevent older cars from being scrapped when they still have so much to offer, we should continue developing synthetic fuels and hydrogen. At the same time, we should support a very different business model for the auto industry where we keep our new cars longer in recognition of their amazing but underappreciated longevity. Friends who care about the environment frequently ask me, as a car enthusiast, if they should get an electric vehicle. I usually advise people to consider a change if their car is an old diesel and they often drive through cities. Hold fire, though, for the time being. One day, electric propulsion will actually help the environment on a worldwide scale, but that day has not yet arrived.